Now I have a scene here where my character can walk and she's currently walking in place. If I go over to the walk cycle and gave her some body speed, she'll walk right off of the set. But what if I wanted her to remain in place and have the set move instead of having her abandon it? Well, there's a couple things you can do. Number one is you need to build a very long set. So when I view my candy background, you can see it's very long horizontally. If I were to look at it in Photoshop, it's actually about 5,100 pixels wide and 1,600 tall. So this gives my character quite a bit of space to walk across. What I need to do if I want this to be the element that pans instead of the character is I need to apply a walk cycle to it. And to get that walk cycle to work, I need to apply a hip behavior. So I'm going to select the uppermost level, the character level. I'll go ahead and give that a hip. And I will apply a walk cycle because it's going to go the opposite direction the character walks. I'm going to give it a body speed of negative eight. And I want that walk cycle to start with the left and right arrow keys. Okay, with the background arm for recording. Now it pans. My character is standing still. The reason for this is I don't have both elements armed for recording at the same time. With both elements selected, now my character walks forward and the background travels. I'm going to slow the body speed down of my character to 16% and I get a pretty cool scene of her traveling against the background. You can apply this to foreground elements as well and having foreground elements really helps create sense of depth. This sense that there is an actual space that our character is traveling within. Just remember when you have things that are supposed to be closer to the camera, there's an effect called parallax, which in the real world is why things that appear closer to us on the road seem to move faster than things that are far away when we're driving. So if you have an element that is closer to the camera, you need to have its speed increased as your character passes by it. Background elements should move slower. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more creative tutorials, gear reviews and video art. Also check out our Patreon for weekly bonus videos and model photography sets.